finally filmed the look, which is the um the purple, the bright purple look with the gold glitter. I know it's been a while, and a lot of you guys have requested this, so um here we go. I have gone that extra step and kind of recreated it in a way that a lot some people can also do it. So one eye, I used the La Femme blushes. Um, or like the original way and in the other eye this side I recreated it using a crystal sense palette which is the um hold on. now this palette you can get absolutely anywhere so you don't have to get it from crystal sense especially if you're in Australia because I know shipping can add up that one is from crystal sense um, but you can get it off eBay, BH Cosmetics, absolutely every single online store is selling them. So I know that that's really available for everyone to use. Also, because I used um, glitter on a glitter eyeliner on this side, I know that a lot of people don't have necessarily have glitter liner. So if you don't have a glitter liner, I have also taken that in cons into consideration, and um, I've translated the glitter liner into um, something everyone can do, which is basically just a gold eyeliner. Um, anyways, that's that. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Alright, so we're going to start off with our base. I'm using NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. If you have oily lids, you might want to use a primer beforehand, but I can use this base as a primer. Now we're just going to take a La Femme, La Femme blush in Purple Passion and taking a short shade of brush, tap off the excess and apply it to your lid in windshield wipe motion. And you might have to do two layers or more and just bring it up to your crease. Now we're just going to take another blush by La Femme in Cinnabar and apply that to the crease using a blending brush. This one's just a coastal scent one. And just apply more for more colour. Now we're just going to take the e.l.f. blending brush and using Russet, we're just going to apply that to the outer V almost, like the deepest the deeper part of your, your crease and then just reapplying the purple passion for more intensity and then we're just going to reapply cinnabar also just to increase just just to make it just to blend it out basically really um, and now I'm just going to use a face powder as a highlight I'm using the Maybelline Dream Matte Dream Matte Powder And then we're just going to reapply that purple to the lower lash line using the same brush. And then we're going to use a liquid glitter liner. This one's from Japan. Um, it's like a can make, I think. I don't know. Well, you can use NYX glitter liners. So just apply that to the top and the inner corners and then apply in the scars. Mascaras, just your mascara, and apply to the top and lower lashes. Oh, I forgot to say that I did my waterline, it's just a gold waterline. I mean, gold eyeliner. Now we're going to move on to the other eye using this Coastal Sense 88 matte palette. That's what it looks like. I'm sure everybody has this palette. So these are the swatches, and as you can see, there are some pretty comparable colours to um, the blushes. Now I'm going to start off with the base again, using the same NYX base and skin tone. Using the same shade of brush, I'm going to apply this purple, that purple. And as you can see, it's quite similar in colour to the La Femme blush in Purple Passion, except the La Femme blush does have a bit of a like blue shimmer to it. But it doesn't really matter, it looks the same. And then just apply as much as you want. And now we're going to take a fluffy brush and mixing two colours to get the cinnabar colour. So we're going to take that purple, sorry, not purple, that peachy colour there and 
um, a light tan colour and applying that to the crease using a fluffy brush. As you can see you might need to do a couple of layers of this or a couple of applications just to get the same um, intensity as the Cinnabar blush. Now we're going to take that red just there and applying that to the, the crease or the outer B almost to replace the russet and then we're just going to blend that out using the two colours we mixed earlier just to reduce the in intensity of that, that red eyeshadow and just to blend it out a little bit. So now you can see that it looks a lot more similar to the other eye and we're just going to reapply the purple if you've lost any colour from all the blending. Now we're going to highlight, I'm just going to pick a highlight colour in the matte palette because you know it's, it's right there but if you want to use a face powder it's up to you. And then just reapply the purple to the lower lash line like the other eye. In, this time instead of a um, glitter liner we're going to use NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Gold and we're using that to line um, our lash line and then we're going to set that with a gold eyeshadow. I'm using the one in the Wet n Wild Vanity palette. So that should give you that pop of gold without using, without requiring a glitter liner and just apply it to the inner tear ducts just, with, just the same as the other eye and apply mascara and there you have it. As you can see it's quite similar. So I'm just using the Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation by Maybelline just to clean up onto the eyes. Um, I already applied it earlier so I'm just applying it as well underneath my eyes and now we're using the e.l.f. blush and bronzer just to bronze my face up and now I'm using a shimmery bronzer by Sports Girl and this is what you should end up with so this is the final look as you can see the liner is a little bit different from the glitter eyeliner on the other side but obviously that's because you can't really replace the glitter but it does give like a similar effect, so it's just an alternative for people who don't have the glitter liner that I'm using, or if you don't even have a glitter liner at hand, period. And yeah, that's what you get. Hope you guys enjoy this look and try it out. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!